Taurus. Welcome to your July general and love reading. Well, I'm getting some messages prior to your reading. And what I'm getting is release. Release and recovery and healing. So I feel like somebody may be recovering. Now, I'm getting this as surgery. So some of you, it's not a surprise surgery, I don't feel. I feel like this is planned. And if it's not you, it could be somebody close to you. But I'm being pulled towards like the throat, the thyroid and tonsils, um, possibly also wisdom teeth. And the other thing is back surgery. I feel like it's in the lower back and possibly foot or ankle surgery. The back also, I'm getting something about acupuncture. So somebody may be trying to do that. But uh, I think it's important that you look for the light in a situation, for the lessons to be learned. There's a lot of growth going on. Looking at the glass as half full instead of half empty. Um, I just get recovery. This might also be recovering besides surgery, because that's not going to apply to everybody, of course. Might be recovering from an ending of some kind. This could be maybe recently a job has ended or... Uh, it could be you're changing employment. This also could be in love, in a relationship. But let's see what the cards have to say. Because these are just some messages that are coming up. Taurus, Taurus, July. Ooh, okay. So that just fell out. So I'm going to start here. We have the two of wands and it came out like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put it this way. Um, so uh, some of you may have a decision to make, but you're not sure. I think it's important that planning is a word that's standing out. Looking ahead, not looking backwards, having foresight. So... The, there may be even a decision here with a fire sign. Uh, doesn't have to be, but the fire signs, the ones are here. So Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but again, does not have to be. Could be a creative endeavor, passionate, something that you're passionate about, someone that you're passionate about. May also be a decision between two things. A situation, an event, and or two people. But let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Oh, wow. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. The Hanged Man. Okay. So, and it's in my challenge position also. So... Um, we'll take a look at that. Oh my gosh, we have another two. This happened, I think it was in Capricorns, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Um, and the Ace of Swords. You might have to go backwards in order to go forwards. And... You know, this, I think that some of this indecisiveness, there's something, oh, look, there's all these swords here. So Gemini, Aquarius, Libra may have some significance. The hanged man is obviously here, which is Pisces. There's something that possibly, because it's in my challenge position, it's, you know, somebody may be feeling like it definitely could be you where you've been sacrificing a lot for a situation. Um, but with the hanged man in my challenge position, it's, it's something is, is definitely like in suspension or there's a delay because it's almost like it's in reverse. There's some kind of indecision, especially here with both twos, 
in reverse. There's confusion. It could be also a lot of information, thoughts. Could be with a Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. With this card here, um, I also get that somebody is kind of possibly confused, um, confused of what they're feeling, what they're thinking about a situation. This may not be you. This may be that somebody's on the other side of a situation and you're involved in it. But I think for quite a few of you, it can be you that you're feeling very indecisive. And it could be regarding this person, this Knight of Swords. This is also, um, could be somebody that is very scattered with their energy or very angry. It may be a situation where um, there's no one's talking, like... I get the word discovery. So that's coming across almost as a legal situation where it's interesting that we have this Ace of Swords because I feel like where there was possibly at the beginning of the month or some energy of not knowing something gets revealed or the truth comes out or there is some kind of clarity where there wasn't before. Let me scoot this up a little bit just so you can see it a little bit better. And let's see what's underneath because I'm curious. Aha! We have three twos here. So some major, major decision making. Uh, balance is going to be very important. Weighing your options, the pros, the cons, looking at things from all different kinds of angles and perspectives. Uh, with the cups here, this can be a decision in terms of love. Could be fire sign versus um, air sign. Could be a water sign and air sign. But... And just to clarify that the water signs are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and then Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Does not have to be those signs. But I think that it's interesting that at the bottom, the two is in the upright position. So I feel like definitely there is some kind of union for some of you, I'm hearing that this is a union in work, a union in terms of a partnership uh, and a contract. So I'm seeing this Ace of Swords almost like a pen. So uh, like someone where there maybe was some back and forth about uh, some kind of delay on agreements I feel like, um, oh, wow, I'm losing my voice, and I wonder if that's going back to the surgery again, <clears throat> like throat surgery, excuse me. But maybe where somebody didn't have a voice, um, there's clarity, or something ends up getting signed, uh, someone's, you know, there's an agreement made, there's some kind of clarity, mental keenness. There's a victory that comes out of something that maybe was either put off or there was a delay involved, maybe a delay in information. Could it be that the information got discombobulated, you know, how it gets told to one person and then to the next and then to the next. And by the time it gets to, you know, it's a whole different story. So I feel like where there was lack of clarity, clarity or insight or decision, some type of victory or the possibility of victory and with the union of some kind is made. Some of you may be meeting somebody is another thing that I'm hearing in July.
new love is coming. And it could also be that you have a decision to make in terms of new love versus old love. And could be an air sign. Again, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra, they're trying to return. For others, I feel like maybe you're shutting this person out of your life so that you're welcoming something brand new or a brand new situation, a brand new person. So it's going to be different uh, for, for those that this apply. Another thing I'm picking up is also a legalities. Feel like there could be something about a hung jury or waiting to hear some news about a legal situation. And maybe there was delay after delay after delay and some news comes in that you've been waiting to hear. And you might hear about that by the end of July. So these are just some messages I am picking up. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to get some information based on your particular situation, you can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. Just click on Tarot Services. You can see what I offer, and uh, or you can click on Schedule a Reading. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care. I will talk to you soon. All right. Bye.